everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing so good. Hopefully you guys are doing great. We're back again here in our hardcore world. One episode before we do the world tour. I can't wait to get that started. And you know what I can't wait to show you? Uh, what's above that little island in the back? In the last episode, we built that thing. In this island underneath, it harnesses the power of the Guardians. That's right. I'm getting all the Guardian drops. It is looking so, so good. But you know what else? I also did a little bit of modifications. If you notice, we got some palm trees in there. Got rid of the ugly old trees we had before. I did leave the big uh, one in the back, which it looked pretty. And one tiny modification that I did. Added some prismarine walls right there. Look how pretty that looks. But also, you know what I did? I did something really cool with the AFK spot up in the sky. And we have our ourselves an airship let me show you and here we go with the airship now i was a little spooked i'm not gonna lie i'm over a hundred blocks up in the sky one slip up and i would have fallen to my death on the brand new island we built in the last episode so you know what spoiler warning but we survived it okay it was a little scary but we did it and officially this is my second ship here in this island technically right because we have one in the front it was covered by water this one's in the sky which is technically a little bit harder to pull off because at least up here in the sky we don't have uh half the boat covered by water so we couldn't hide the ugliness underneath we have to make it all look pretty and i think it came out pretty cool also on the top here the balloon the zeppelin like balloon this one came out awesome there was different shapes we could have done to pull this off but i think this shape is perfect it's all proportional to the ship and i love it it looks awesome very steampunky too and we did use dirt yes i'm not using that scaffold up up in that angle i would have definitely fallen okay so dirt is still my favorite scaffold okay let me know in the comment section this is your favorite it's my favorite but i love the details we were to pull off with this thing i dirtied that balloon up also adding the diorite again adding the unstripped burst like we did on the church in the last episode i added a little bit of signage there giving a little lining in the center which came out awesome added barrels added that little wood uh surrounding border right there which looks really really cool and also connected everything to that ship with the fence post we came out awesome and also the roof i had to seal it in because the other one was too open so this one i decided to close it in make sure that if i afk i'm safe in there and also Come on, look at that dark prismarine roof. <laughs> I love this thing. What do you guys think? And there it is from down below. Oh, this looks so awesome. Let me go ahead and go up there. Let me give you guys a closer look. Uh, let's go fast, though. There's bad guys. Oh, no. It's almost nighttime. Uh, hurry. Go, 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 go. We're safe. Oh, no. They're targeting me. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Zigzag. Zigzag. Take a quick nap first before we go up there. Sleep, sleep. Come on. It was dark enough outside. Come on now. Sleep, 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 Finally. So we made it to the top. Now, we got to get up to that area. And you know what? All we got to do is get scaffold and shoot it up right up the middle, right from here. We're doing this for now until we get a light show. Once we get a light show, we just fly on up there. Uh, and a lot of people were mentioning you could do a bubble elevator, but I don't think I really want to do that because I don't want it permanent. Plus, imagine, you got to do a bubble elevator to go up and one to come back down. You got to do a double bubble, all right? And I don't want no double bubble here. It's going to look ugly connecting to that thing. Another thing would be uh, just a bunch of trap doors going down with a ladder connecting to it. But you know what the cool thing about scaffold i can get rid of it that's the only reason i want it but you know what eventually don't you worry we're gonna get ourselves our elytra i promise you we will survive a dragon fight and that's coming up very very soon too now let's get on up here oh i gotta do something to that island too that's pretty what should i put over there let me know put a hashtag the island over there what should i do with that one we still gotta do that volcano one that i promised a while back so that's still on the list oh there's another one over there what should i do to that one? Oh, there's another one over there what should i do to that one there's another one over there. <laughs> it's way too many islands around here. We don't got time for all these. Or do we? And we made it to the tippy top. So it goes right to this section. And then we have our way in over here. Oh, God, it's so loud. Hold on. Gotta sleep, hostile creatures. But yeah, what do you guys think? Tiny little bedroom here in the front. There's a way up and down. And we can open and close the door, which is perfectly fine. We can AFK here. Perfectly safe. And then downstairs is always loaded up. And this looks really, really cool. We got the Zeppelin look over here. If we do fall from here... We're definitely dead, so we gotta be sure to hold that shift, click. Oh, and then this scares some people. Another thing we could do, if I really, really wanted to, I think I could make that jump. The only problem is, it's very dangerous because uh, we're gonna fall deep, deep, deep down into that water, and it's gonna be hard to get out, and all these guys are gonna be shooting me. We might even get into that bubble uh, column thing and end up um, going into the nether and dying with them. Should I risk it, though? I think I can make that jump. I can literally make... That's an easy jump to make. This is what I could do. I could jump 
this way. Have the boat in hand. And then go. Right? You think I... Should, should I do it? Oh, no. Should I do it? You know what? I'm, I'm tempted. Look how pretty the ship is. You know what? I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I think I can MLG drop down there. Oh, that is scary, though. So many bad guys. Oh, there's so many bad guys. You know what? I, I might save this jump for the world tour. Let me know. Put hashtag jump sausage and I'll do a big old jump in the world tour on the next episode. But for right now, I'm too scared. I want to get to the world tour. But I might do that jump. Let me know if you think I should do it. All right, I'm getting out of here the safe way for now. Come here, scaffold. Oh, so satisfying. It's raining scaffolds. I usually lose some from this point, but you know, that's fine. I'm not all the way down yet, which is, I should I should just do it like this. I should be getting more of them if I do it like that. But another thing, I'm not going to be able to get to that fortress before the world tour. I know a lot of people really wanted to see that before, but there's no way I'm going to finish it because that fortress is going to have so many things attached to it. I want to do a blacksmith with a super smelter in there. I want to put my iron farm in there. So I think we can segment that into probably three episodes uh, of different builds within that fortress. So that's coming. That's the first thing we do after episode 25 so i promise it's coming and it's gonna be this style right there that's why i was been collecting all those bricks so it's gonna be awesome um oh hold on let me clean up this mess now since the world tour is the next episode i want to take care of all unfinished business all right tie loose ends in this island one thing that we need to tie up especially this loose end is um do something for these poor Poor, amazing llamas that I've been promising a llama pen for the longest time. And it's going to be in here. So we're going to take care of that in this episode. Just not right now. i got to keep playing it. <laughs> also, I want to prettify this small area over here. Maybe do another little dock just to come out of this side. And then do a little bit of terraforming over here on this end as well. That chick is still here. Hey, Creamy. Hey, Bob. Also, back here, we need to do some terraforming as well. Down this area, around the side. And then I want to find a different spot for this little um, uh, cookie generator over here. Um, maybe we'll figure something out and do something simple somewhere. I think I got an idea where, though. For now, I'm replanning. Thank you, cookie generator. Also, right here in this wall, we got to do a little bit of terraforming. Maybe some back on that side. And then we'll leave it off perfect. So when we come back after the world tour, we can start on that little fortress on the tippy top. Also, we got to do some stuff down below. Yo, what up, Carlos? How's business? Great. Oh, I'm happy to see you. Oh, thank you for the baby. So another thing that I really want to do is go back here and make this little back breeding hall a little prettier. So this thing is going to get a little bit of an upgrade today. Hi, thanks for all your baby making. And also, thank you all so much for all the suggestions. In the last episode, I have our Fletchers finally here in this side. So it kind of stops right here. And on this side, we got all the clerics that we're ever going to need. So we can go ahead and go back into the guardian farm bring back all of that rotten flesh and trade with these guys and then bring back some sticks for these bad boys so let's do that real quick man this guardian farm it is so op look at all the stuff we got i even added this little room down here to add even more chests check this out yep all completely filled up especially over here we got so many ink sacks we got all of this going all the way down we have some space to put a little more but i still haven't cleared out everything back here all full over here as well look at all of that i'm never gonna need anything else we could even use the fish we got from that and trade with the fishermen which is also gonna be awesome and let me take all this rotten flesh yummy Hey, yo, clerics, I got some stuff for you. Take that, my friends. There's plenty more of that rotten flesh where that came from. You can have some, too. I see you looking. Thank you. I don't think you're going to need that redstone, but you know what? You can keep that. We'll take your emeralds, though. Thank you. Thank you so much. And yes, I know the trick. Watch. Bam, 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 bam. One more. Leveled all of you up. Look at those green balls. And just like that, 52 emeralds in one shot. So good. Nice fart bubbles. What are you trading now? <gasps> Gold, you do gold for emeralds too. I love you. You're pretty. Also, I can use the bamboo to make sticks and sticks to make emeralds. Isn't that right, Slime Cat Junior? Hi. Pancake, waffles, how you guys doing? Mwah, mwah. Double kiss. <gasps> Plenty. Give me all of that. Give me all those sticks. This place has turned into an emerald factory. Give me all of your emeralds, friend. Thank you. Oh, you gave me a discount. Wow, just by one. Not bad. Thank you so much. <laughs> Next. And just in that little session, a stack and 14. Give me those fart bubbles. You nasty. But I love you. Now, it might be a little complicated to build while these guys are in here. But, you know, for right now, uh, at least I can expand it. Get, get away from me. You guys are 
too close. Personal space. No, no, no. Stand over there. Everything's fine. Oh my god, if I hit them by accident, that iron golem is gonna murder me. Now I got a little bit of space cleared out, and I think this is perfect. The only thing I can't go any more this way because then our strip mine is totally like right there. Oh, I just knocked out a torch. But I can cover that up up to here, and I can't go anymore this way because uh, I just want it to match both sides. Uh, so I think this is going to be perfect. So I'm going to be just doing Blackstone. I'm going to keep up with the theme. Hey, move, move in a little bit. You look like you're, you're not even comfortable. Move in a little. Okay, that's fine. But I want to keep up with the theme we have going over here as well. But I want to change it up slightly. So I'm thinking instead of putting basalt beams, we could do uh, some of the warped beams. Make it a little bit more colorful on the, on the pillars. But then I want to keep it all Blackstone here. I might continue with this flooring on this side just to keep it uh you know looking uh like it belongs and then maybe leave a door opening here for maybe more stuff in the future going down this direction so that the next thing we need to do is just um replace all this with a mix of this black stone and that one i think it'll look pretty cool here's a little progress update what do you guys think we got these big king size beds here i'm covering this part up over here and it's looking really good the only thing is that the white beds it looks a little off. I might come back here and gothify this. Is that a word? It is now. Make this a little bit darker. Maybe put some gray or, or black beds or something. We got our bouncer here making sure everything uh, is working out lovely and nothing bad happens. I'm not sure yet what to put on the ceilings, but I love this. I was thinking about stripping them, but you know what? I'm, th I'm thinking about leaving them. Let me know in the comment section. Strip or don't strip. I, I'm gonna leave them. They kind of look really, really cool, especially that little animation going up in here. It looks really cool. It's like a little dungeon. I love it. Then back here, I have a door that goes nowhere with some basalt, and it's looking awesome. I just gotta hang some more lights. I'm thinking maybe what we could do is right up here, maybe add uh, either some uh, shroom lights and then put some some trap doors around it, some warp trap doors. Maybe that would do the trick. I'm not sure yet. The flooring, I'm still debating it, but I'm thinking about bringing that down here. Get a little lighter here at the bottom. Not sure yet for the ceiling, but as uh, it's, it's looking pretty good so far. What do you guys think? Man, this is old school villager breeder, right? He likes it. Now, this villager breeder room is looking awesome. And this guy looks like it's a little statue. Hi. Uh, but what do you guys think? I added this bell right in the center because they needed it. And you know what? I love bothering them. And so there you go. Run. Get out of the front door. They don't want to escape so badly. But at the same time, they're happy to be here, right? It's nice and safe. Everything's okay. But I love these little paintings in the back. I got some, uh, uh, what, what I got in there? I got some lights back there as well. And I got some more lights on the top. So we're using all of our, <laughs> our loot from the Guardian Farms. We got a bunch of these lanterns over here. Top and bottom, trap doors all over the place. And on the top, Dark Prismarine. Why not? Even more lanterns, warped trap door. This is looking so good. The flooring is perfect. Everything is squishy, though. Listen to this. Squish, squish. This is awesome. I still got to change the beds, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back into the western town and go to our uh, a wool uh, depository and just get a bunch of stuff, and I'll bring it back over here later on. But for right now, what do you guys think, though? Uh, it looks so good. Hi. Go back. Get out of the way. I need to leave. Please go. It's fine. I'll go. And you know what's cool? They can't escape. Even though they see the door, this trap door prevents them from leaving. So you're stuck there forever. Go make some babies. What a sweet build that was. All right, let's keep it going. Let's work on the llamas now. Now, the only problem I see with these llamas is that I don't know how far I can take it. There it is. I can't take it any farther than that. So it's not going to be the most spacious location. I could go right up to here. On this side, I can take it as far as, let's see, maybe right about here. All right, we can make it a little deeper on this side, a little less over here. So let's see how big we can make this room without blowing anything up on the other side. Oh, that's it. Hi, cream cat. Um, I see your booty. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. Don't look at me like that. I'm doing the best I can. This looks like it's a good amount of space right here. We can have uh, a little bit of detail bits here on this wall, covering this up right at this line. And then back here, we can go ahead and wrap this around. It's something fancy. You know, I can make this look a little fancy. It doesn't have to look like this. I know these are more sophisticated beings, and they, <laughs> I think they're like a little bit of luxury. So you know what? Uh, let me see what I can do. Now, the llama pen is looking really awesome, but I want to do a little bit of farming first. I want to gather some stuff here because I want to make some hay bales. I also want to do a little bit of breeding with them as well. So let's do this really quickly before I show you what I got so far. Very 
Okay, cool. Ooh, sunset watching time. Let's go. We get a good angle. Oh, yes. Ooh, right there. Not a better angle, hold on. Eh. Oh, there it is. Sunset. Oh, there it is. Oh, let's get the ship. It's sunset time. Oh, I'm emotional. It's so pretty. Now, let me go ahead and show you the llama pen. My friend over here from Gryffindor is so excited to go ahead and be part of it. Check it out. You can even see it in the background. Look how fancy. Now, the fancy llama pen, it is lovely. Check this out. We got some Tudor blockage here in the back with some stripped oak, some orange terracotta, a little storage area here on the side, details on the ceiling, nice beams here, hanging lights. I even made babies. Look at this. Come on in, Gryffindor's finest. You're the best. Ugh, there it is. Oh. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Uh, we can even expand that way later on if we need to. But for right now, I think this is doing pretty good. Hey, aren't you from the western town? Now, I'll finish up all the little things we have in this island later on. And I'll show you guys in the world tour. But you know what? I'm heading over to the western town because there's a couple things over there that we got to clean up. Now, something cool that I worked on last night is this little area here. So we got a bigger dock on this side. Really, really cool with a bunch of logs. We got spruce. We got strip spruce. We got some oak. We got some barrels here. And I think this came out really awesome. What do you guys think? Also, it's a little dangerous on this side, but I'm going to upgrade all of this after after episode 25 we got so many projects this is definitely gonna go in the project board if it's not there already i want to make this uh mine shaft look really awesome but it's gonna look pretty similar to this a lot of wood on this side which is cool also on the other side i did a little wall right there just up to this point but i want to wrap this kind of around this area here take these trees out of here uh or maybe keep some of them i don't know i think we should make some custom trees too let me know would you guys like to see some custom trees i think we can come up with a couple cool ideas here in the western town maybe a couple dead trees would look pretty awesome but look at this little area. What do you think? I like it. Uh, this is a small path to go around here in the back. It's a little cramped, but it's fine. And a little step up to get to this side and then to go back here to this area. I've got to terraform more on this corner, but I think it's looking good for now. Hi, my friends. You guys still breeding over here? Oh, we got a lot of them outside already, but I've been leaving the door open from time to time to see them escape. Okay, bye. See you later. Breed more. Oh, you too? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Welcome to the outside world, uh, but this is looking awesome. I got a bunch of villagers just populating this whole area I think I got also a couple over here as well. Did we get any? Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah Okay, I forgot we trapped these bad boys in here. Hello. Hi my friends my leather worker friends uh, They actually look good as leather workers right better than clerics They got that nice apron going on here for the bartending, which is cool. Hello. Who's opening and closing doors? I think somebody's upstairs in the inn you guys keep on. Continue. This is our uh, pianist. Play us a song, my friend. Remind me to put a jukebox in here. But as far as this area, everything is looking awesome. There's one quick thing that I need to add, though. Uh, let me show you. And done. We got ourselves an outhouse. Hey, were you going to use it? I'm sorry. I was in there. You can use it now. It's free. <laughs> we got a little outhouse. Look at this. Hold on. Let me put a little poo in there. Uh, give me a second. Here's my poo generator. There we go. Get a little more poo in there. That's perfect. Nasty. Can I get a hashtag poo? Bubbles, my girl. What's going on? How is everything? Life in the West doing good. Don't go in there. I know that the, the zombie villagers in there, okay? Leave them alone, okay? We'll cure them later. Bubbles, hang out right here. I know how you like to jump over this bridge, okay? You chill. Don't jump. It's not worth it. Don't do it, sir. Please stay off the edge. Thank you. So as far as this project board here in Spider Canyon, we finished that. So the church and graveyard is finished. The other ones are a little bit too big to really take care of in this episode. But I think we can actually take care of that general store. And I just got the spot. I should have knocked that down. I haven't finished it yet. But you know what? Let's go. Right over here in this space. Well, we got this spot right here open. And then we also got this spot. I think right here connected to our bakery, we could definitely fit a general store. And then maybe over here, we just, I don't know, maybe add something else later on. But for right now, I think we could maximize this space right here and put that general store. So let me make it daytime and we'll come up with something cool. Um, I guess the inn is being used. Very nice. I just wanted to borrow a bed, but uh, I guess you guys had all taken. Now, I think this is the outline that came out best in my mind uh, for this spot, for this little general store. What do you guys think? So, so far, it is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, wide, right? And then it goes back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like this. So, we got uh, the three gapper in between each beam like this just to make it look cool. The entrance, I'm thinking something like that. Hi, you want to work at the general store when it's ready? Go on in. Go on in. Or don't. I don't care. But this is what I got in mind right here. Also, I want to make a little second floor way up. Uh, I'm still not sure how to set it up. I'm thinking maybe just going up simple stairs like this will look pretty good. Uh, I'm thinking oak 
is the way to go just to change it up a little bit compared to all the other ones usually we use spruce but then i want a little bit of an elevated platform up here not that elevated though something like this with oak might be pretty good and it looks good because it's right next to this build which is purely oak on this side and then over here we can make a little step up right on this side a little step up right over here on this side uh, for this part, I'm thinking just trap doors, and then just we raise the acacia up a little bit like that. Adding some fences like this, gates in between, and I think that might be the trick. I don't know if I want a balcony on this yet. Um, so far, we haven't had any on this side, so I think maybe we uh, sneak in a balcony over there. For this part here, I'm still not sure. I'm thinking we could just go in with some of the spruce like this, maybe do a little upside down stair right there. That looks good. Maybe stripping it might look better. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Uh, and then we can maybe just do this all the way around. Maybe we even sneak in some barrels here. It looks pretty good. And let's continue with our little step up to get to the top. Actually, I think this is perfect. It goes center right here to this part. And yeah, that's pretty good. And we'll figure out what to do there later. But for right now, uh, we can go ahead and just continue this lining over here. We got that lining in place. We can even do the interior lining over here. I think in flooring, we could just go with simple oak. And it looks pretty good. Now, the details are pouring on in. So check this out. This is the back area. So I'm covering up, uh, well, all this orange because I don't want to see it but then I've been adding uh, some of these gates I added the same style that we have down here on the bottom with the stairs up and down but this one in the second floor is gonna be a little smaller but also I've been adding barrels I've been changing some of the strip spruce into spruce planks and this is looking pretty cool also I want to detail even more uh, I want to add some random signs it looks like almost like it's like boarded up in certain spots like that that looks really really cool the details man the details let's go parkour and then over here on this end I got a little step up right here I think I might change this up instead of having it all acacia I might change the outside to look a little bit more rickety maybe some strip dark oak just to change up the outside it looks good though I like it, uh, the way it's set up but uh, it's a lot of gray so up here this is what we got for the second floor is looking good I still need to go ahead and take some of these out and make these into uh, well, a mix of barrels and uh, some planks so this will be the balcony which is all ready to go this side I'm still working on the roof I'm not sure how to set that up I think I might do a little bit of a peek on the back end but I did recess it in a little bit so we can play around with the shapes over here on this side I just want to make this kind of door right here like that now actually you know what i think i'm gonna use trap door for this yeah i think this is it right here so door right there yeah that looks nice that'll be our door to get in to this part this will be the living area maybe a little extra storage bit for whoever's running the general store uh for this one we got a door right there that is looking good as far as windows i don't know if i'm gonna use glass or i'm gonna use fences but for right now I think this is looking pretty good. Now, I think the general store is complete. I just need a name for it. Name the general store in the comment section. What do you guys think, though? I replaced this part here with a dark oak, and it looks so much better. Uh, not, it's not so much gray, which looks awesome. On the inside, check this out. It's a little general store. I got some stuff for sale over here. Let me close the door. I don't want to get blown up. So just a bunch of random joke over here. We sell some scented candles right there. A little bit of bonsai tree action. Some uh, uh, wagon wheel replacements, okay? We sell some paintings, all right? Uh, very uh, awesome custom paintings are amazing also some bowls some spoons over here some cowboy hats there replacements uh, there's a hole in here but that's fine it, it, it adds to the charm uh, but also extra barrels in here extra stuff we're selling some fish as well uh, we got some leads we got some of our saddles right there and uh, some uh, fishing rods this is cool this is the proprietor of this establishment and this is the front desk I gotta get a villager in here which is really cool upstairs though i got some really cool things really simple though just a small kitchen for the owner right here in the corner and then a little bedroom there on the side nothing much to it balcony is all ready to go this the, i love this roof this roof is so cool uh, it has a nice little peak over here similar to what we did over on this end and we can do some etsy auditory parkour and like that so it was similar to this uh, style just a little front facade and it looks really nice on the top let's see if i can get up there too i actually had to make um uh, the uh the, the smokestack here a little bit bigger uh but i also have to replace the top bit i fell that's perfectly okay uh can i get up here now there it is so we got this thing and it's really cool because you can look down there and peep on 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 the business owner which is great uh let me put a campfire on top and done Ugh, i gotta put the little thing on the, around hold on I'm, this is hurting help and now we're finished wait hold on it's yo it's yo Look at this, we even added a little watering trough for the horses there in the front with some cauldrons. 
this western town. Oh, man. Spider candy. This look is so good. Look at that church. But that is it. That is all there is to it for this episode. We were able to add a bunch of stuff to the main island here, to Spider Canyon. And I can't wait for the world tour on the next episode. But guess what we're doing also in that episode? Not just the world tour. No, 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 no. We're also fighting the dragon. Oh, man. I can't wait. We're going to do great. I'm going to get all that stuff prepared. And we'll go ahead and fight the dragon. First thing, world tour right after. Let's do it. But thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today here in my hardcore world. And I'll see you in the next one. World Tour time. Let's go.